Okay, next I'm going to show you how to install the software on your own computer. The Smartboard file should have um, downloaded from the website and what I'm going to do is double click on it, give it a few seconds, so I'm using Windows 7 and it's saying do I want to allow the following program from an unknown publisher to make changes on this computer and I'm going to say yes. If you're using Windows XP, you probably won't get a message. Okay, now I'm being told, welcome to the installation wizard for Notebook 10 with Smartboard drivers. And I'm going to click Next. I've then got the license agreement. And once I've read it, I'll say I accept the terms to the license agreement. Then I'll click Next. Now as I don't need the smartboard drivers on my laptop because the laptop itself won't be connected to the smartboard I'm only using this to prepare notebook files I'm going to untick install smartboard drivers OK next I need to fill in my details You also need to enter your product key if you have one. If you don't have one, don't worry. This can be entered at any point between now and the next 30 days. The screen prompts us as to which gallery of collections we wish to download through the internet. It's recommended that we download all the galleries. However, you may wish to deselect several, depending on your own subject area. And then I'll set install. The status bar goes from left to right, and this stage may take several minutes to complete. You'll notice now the software installation has started to download the galleries through the internet. This final stage could take as long as half an hour, depends on your internet connection. OK, so the software is downloaded. We've got a green tick next to um, the installations and a green tick next to complete. So I'm going to click finish and the software is now installed. So, so let's have a look at the software. Start, all programs, smart technologies and notebook 10. Welcome to Notebook Software. I'll just close that and there's the software ready and installed.